Hi. So it's formal season and it's also party season. So this video is all about how to get this look. Um, it's the lashes, um, the contouring, the whole shebang. So if you have time, um, it's a little bit of a long vid, but please keep watching if you want to see how to really doll yourself up. Um, but if you don't have time, make sure you head to mollymakeup.com.au anyway and subscribe because I send out a weekly video um, exclusively to my subscribers with the links to the videos um, that I have done that week as well. So you'll be able to catch up on the weekend. So if you've got time though, keep watching because it's a good one. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna do this as quickly as possible, um, but it's quite a few steps, So, and it is your school formal, so you know you wanna take a bit of time. So I'm gonna start with a BB cream. This is L'Oreal Nude Magic BB Cream 5-in-1. It goes on kind of light, and it changes to your skin color, which I always think is very cool. Now, if you need more coverage than this, by all means, just step it up. Um, the other product I really like um, for a more coverage is um, Maybelline Better Skin um, Foundation. I really like that one and actually is really nice on your skin. So if you get breakouts and things like that, try that one. So that's my base on. Now the next thing I'm going to do is do a little bit of contouring a la the Kardashians. So I've got a darker color. This is... Um, uh, what is this called? Astralis Paparazzi Perfect Foundation, and I've got it in Golden Town. So this is the darkest color they have, um, which is going to be quite dark on me. Now, if you've had a fake tan, this probably is almost probably going to be your foundation color, um, in which case you're probably just going to need to contour with your bronzer, which I'll show you how to do as well. But um, for me, I don't have any fake tan on, so this is fine for me. So basically, I've just squeezed a little bit onto my fingers, and I'm going to just take it underneath my cheekbones. So I can feel my cheekbones are here, and I'm literally just taking it down like that. I'm going to take it down either side of my nose and the bottom of my nose, because my nose kind of goes a bit pointy. I'm going to take a little bit under the jawline. And I'm also going to take a little bit sort of around the hairline. So now you can see I look like I've got a stripy face. So now I'm just going to blend it all in. Now if you want to use a sponge, go for your life. I find sponges because kind of eat up the product and I can't be bothered. But it's up to you. If you can be bothered, go for it. Oh, itchy face. <laughs> so notice I'm blending up, up, up and out keeping it underneath those cheekbones. So now I'm looking very tanned and very contoured and I'm just um, blending in the, the colors down either side of my nose. Okay, so you can see I'm looking a bit contoured now. Now just to um, amplify that a little bit more, and again, this is, um, you don't need to do that step I just did if you don't want to. If you don't want to make it a really intense contour, then don't do the foundation or don't do this step, which I'm about to show you, which is a bronzer. So this is a, um, I can't remember this brand, but it's from Woolworths. It's like, it's called like cover or something really uncreated like that. Cover or color, something like that. And I'm just going to, um, and I've got an Eco Tools brush. I'm just going to dab a little bit and just blend it up, 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 up. Just making sure it does grab because it's a cheaper brand. Um, it does grab onto the skin a little bit. So just make sure you keep blending it up. And if you need to, see, I've got, it's kind of grabbed onto me a little bit. Just make sure you. Um, blend it out if you need to and then take it around the hairline so like i said you could skip the foundation step and just put a little bit on your chin um you could skip the foundation step and just do the bronzer or you could just do the foundation darker foundation and not the bronzer if you want to but i thought i would show the whole hog so there's my base done now i'm going to show eyes so basically i've got a eye palette from models prefer super cheap like ten dollars and it's got as you can see it's got four colors so what I'm gonna do is 
take the light color sorry I thought I could hear my child oh god please don't wake up um, so I'm gonna take the lightest color across the whole eye all the way up to the eyebrow and no that's a very loud neighbor shouting actually in my house not in my house but um, okay so it's going all the way up to the eyebrow so that's the base so it looks nice and bright next I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this color because it doesn't really do much so next I'm gonna use the slightly darker color again and I'm gonna take it into the the whole um, so you know semicircle part of my eye now I'll, I'll actually I might do the other side with a brush and then you can see what you like to do so I've just done that with my finger and then this side I'm doing with a brush so if you need brushes I really like eco tools they're really affordable you can get them in Priceline and super you know major supermarkets um, and they're not too exy and they're really good just make sure you wash them every month so that's looking pretty nice already if you want to take it to the next level then we're going to go the darker color again and we're going to take that right just into the little creasy bit in the corner see how I'm just dabbing it now I'll show you how I'll do that with my finger so I just showed you the brush now the finger you just kind of you are literally just jabbing it into your eye now if you need to um, like buff out a bit more you can take your um, bronzer brush and just kind of get a bit of the get the excess bronzer off and you can just literally go do 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 and like blend it out just make sure you then check that none of the darkness has gone anywhere else but now it's really nicely blended now the next step is eyeliner um, now I if you were going to put lashes on you could either do this before I've just got a color theory um, again super cheap um, you could either do the eyeliner before or after lashes but I'm just going to show you before and then I'll probably put a bit more on after so sorry I'm just going to look I'm a bit blind these days so I'm just going to see how I'm just doing tiny little feathery strokes into the eyelashes and sort of along the eyelash line and you can see it just defines that eye again just a little bit more this is like a really nice smoky perfect nighttime formal makeup um, but again you know this this can apply to anyone on a Saturday night out as well it doesn't have to just be formal makeup and then I'm going to take a little bit under the eye lash line just because I think when you're going so heavy on the top it's nice to take some a little bit underneath the eye so I'm just going really gently into the eyelashes and then we're done oops I keep, keep doing that okay so next we're going to put on some lashes so actually at this point if you can't be bothered with lashes um, or you don't feel confident then put your mascara on and walk out the door you're fine but if you have the time energy and um, very good fine motor skills then go for it with the lashes um, I don't really so um, I'm just going to show you a cheats way to do it so this is a kit from Eyelure I, that's what it looks like lengthening is the um, start and it's a starter kit so this is quite cool so basically you've got a practice lash and then you've got um, like this little clamp thing that helps you put the lashes on which is pretty cool so um, I'm just gonna go straight into it and that's the left so it shows you literally it shows you like left right you've got a practice lash you've got two things of glue and you've got this clamp thing which is very cool so I'm just gonna go straight into it and do the right one first but what I'm going to do because I think a I think full strap um, strip lashes are really intense um, a B they're way too much for a 16 year old going to her formal um, so I just I don't think it's appropriate and C it's so much easier if you just put on a half so that's the full lash they're like that but what I'm gonna do is just take sort of the beginning 
like I guess how do I explain where I'm taking it to like pretty much halfway and I am I've got little tiny scissors and I'm just gonna snip it and then you've just got the end bit see that so much easier to deal with then because you're only going that much so then I'm gonna take my clampity thing and I'm gonna use that to hold my lash like this and then I'm gonna get my glue out and oh. and then I'm just gonna use that to do 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 here we go run that just along the eyelash oops come on you have to try a couple of times there we go and done and then basically I'm just gonna use this to help me guide now I actually have to look down here because I don't really I can't really see properly what I'm doing but I'm literally just bringing it out and onto the eyelashes So I just got a little bit of glue up there, so just try and kind of tap the glue off. It's transparent, so it doesn't matter. And then basically you're gonna use the same thing again to help you just clamp them. Ah, they're very long actually, so. And then you can just use this thing to clamp them down. And then they're on. And that's so much easier than putting a full strip of lashes on so there's one i'm just going to quickly do the next one and you obviously need to try and get roughly the same <laughs> length so um just try and do that so again i'm going to put the lashes into actually that's a bit longer i think than the last one Might just cut a little bit more of that one. There we go. Now the other thing I should say, if you are not very confident doing lashes, maybe put them on before you do anything else because then you're not worried about ruining the rest of your makeup that you've done. Um, so that that is an option because then you can like really get your fingers right in there and not really worry about it. So you could try that. Okay, so I've got my glue on, I've got my eyelash here, and I'm just ready to bring it in over the top. Oh, great. And now they're stuck on the clamp. And there we go. And then don't be afraid as well, while the glue is drying, you can just kind of force them into the spot that you want them to be in. And I'm going to use this thing to clamp them right into this position I want. And we're good to go. Done. Oops, bit of glue on the ends. So now I have lashes on. I look lush, lushy, luscious. And um, while that glue sets, I'm going to put on some lips, lip gloss. Now I feel, again, if you're 16, it's a bit inappropriate to do full on eyes and lips and the whole shebang. So. Um, I feel it's more appropriate to wear some lip gloss um, and just keep everything light and pretty. You're 16. Please don't go over the top. You are not Kylie Jenner. So I've got two colors here. This is color theory. Um, and as you can see, that's been quite well used because the label is no longer on it. Um, and so is this one. Um, it's a really nice nude, but these are like $10 in Amcal Chemists. Massive fan. They're really good. So I'm going to try an, um, kind of a nudie pink first, which is very Kardashian-esque again. And I really like this color. It's nice and shiny. But if you feel like you want a little bit more color and you've got, you know, a nice bright dress and you want to just have a bit of fun, you can put a nice hot pink on instead and that's really easy to reapply all night 
and just kind of keep looking nice and fresh and lush. So now I'm just going to put my mascara on and then I will be out the door. So what you're going to do, because you've got lashes on, you don't want to go too hell for leather. But what you're going to do is use the mascara to kind of bond the fake lashes to your real lashes. So from underneath, you're just kind of pressing it in to the eyelashes. You're not going, see, I'm not going crazy, like putting them going because it just looks way too much. So I'm just really more focusing on the lashes underneath and also a little bit on the lashes that don't have the fake lashes just so it kind of all blends into one. And there, my friends, you have it. Now you could take just a tiny bit and run that along the bottom. And there you have it. So there is your formal makeup or your Saturday night girls night out makeup if you like. Um, and it's really easy and not too expensive. None of those products are really over like $15. So there you go. Of course you can always do all of the above with more expensive products, but um, you know, with a formal season in mind, I considered 16 year olds who are hopefully shopping in Priceline and not Mac because you really don't need to girls. Um, and anyway, go have a great night and um, enjoy. And if you want to share this with any of your friends, please feel free. Um, and don't forget to head to mollymakeup.com.au to subscribe. And don't forget, I'm actually doing makeup for formals these days. So if you have um, a formal or an event coming up, make sure you book me. Or if you want to book me as a surprise for your daughter, feel free. Um, so I shall hopefully hear from you soon and I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.